Dublin has a busy port, so as well as routing outside its control area, down its eastern boundary, I checked in on the radio and monitored their working frequency until we cleared to the south. There is a line of sandbanks running almost all the way down the eastern coast of Ireland, but it's far enough offshore that for a cruising boat, passing inside it all the way down the coast is no problem. six in the morning and uh, here we are off on our travels again it feels like we've had um, a proper weekend it was a fabulous fabulous weekend just outside Dublin in Hoth Marina um, catching up with wonderful friends and uh, now we're back to moving our way down the Irish coast um, over there is uh, the port of Dublin that's Dublin Bay over there and we've come a little bit out of the way <laughs> to, um, to get out of the way of the Dublin Pilotage District. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of traffic going in and out of a busy port like Dublin. So if you're in that area over there, then they can boss you around basically and tell you to move and tell you to hold and tell you to avoid big ships and things like that. So we come a little bit further out just so that um, we don't have to be told what to do. There's a small marina basin on the north side of the river and the entrance to it is very narrow so vessels coming out have to come straight out perpendicular to the river flow and they'll be impossible to see until quite late, especially if there's a cargo vessel moored up alongside the river. This film clip's running at four times speed, so as you can see we were going very, very slowly, so it's not really a problem. The pontoon on the right just beyond that entrance is the visitor pontoon. You can just tie up at any space. The harbour master will make a couple of visits every day to see if anyone's there and needs to pay. But if not, his office is on the far side of that marina, so just walk around it, keeping it on your right and you'll find a, an old building on the other side with the facilities in it, as well as the Harbour Master's office. Some of the cleats on this pontoon are missing or not in great shape, which is why we decided not to use the initial space we were going for, although the pontoon itself is absolutely fine. But the access bridge can be a little bit steep at low tide, especially if it's wet, and the step from the top of it up to pavement level is a bit larger than normal. This is a great place to pick up supplies. There's a shopping centre, which is that building ahead on the right, just by the bridge. It has a surprising array of shops for such a small town. that useful or interesting or better still both as always please hit like hit subscribe hit that bell icon these things really help the channel to grow do come back soon <laughs>